Hi folks, it's Max from Epic4GTouchRoot.com. So I've got a quick overview of the uh, CM 10.1. Um, this is not an official version, a ported version by XEA user Dastin1015. Don't forget to donate to him if you like this ROM. Um, so you do get the full 4.2. Uh, so let's go to System Settings, About Phone, and you'll find that you have a CM 10.1, uh, unofficial of course, for your uh, Sprint Epic 4G Touch. Um, so I really like this one. Uh, where it runs pretty well. Let me turn off uh, the Wi-Fi here, so you get the notification 4.2 notifications there. Um, also, all of these nice things. And uh, uh, let me turn off my Wi-Fi real quick. And it's actually on roaming for some reason. Um, but uh, 4G works just fine. If you want to get 4G working, go to System Settings, uh, More, 4G Settings. Uh, turn on 4G. And one thing with this ROM is that 4G, you, you won't see the 4G icon, but you'll still see the signal. So don't freak out if you don't see 4G and your data works. Um, that's still 4G uh, WiMAX. Uh, other than that, um, you do get all the 4.2 stuff. Um, you know, you get the swipe to away, and also you can zoom in and zoom out. You know, this one won't let me for some reason. Um, and also you do get 4.2 camera. Now with this one, you will not get Photosphere. Um, in the future, you should be able to, uh, but everything else works fine. Panorama, all that cool stuff. But it's a very solid ROM. Uh, I prefer this one over some of the later, latest TouchWiz ROMs, uh, simply because, uh, in general, it's much faster, and uh, um, you know you do get the best of, best of having a Nexus 4 pretty much in your hands, which I actually got right here. And I'll show you the similarities between the CM10 and uh, there we go. So it looks nearly identical. Um, you can't really tell the difference. Uh, so that's really nice. Let me go ahead and unlock it. Nope. Uh, ah. How do I unlock this? There we go. And uh, you'll see that you get the full, uh, nice full effect there. Other than, um, the difference in the screen size. Um, so with the CM 10.1, it's certainly a great way to get the latest 4.2 on your phone. And also, you can even overclock this one. Uh, let me see, can you overclock it? Maybe not. But let me show you some of the stuff you can do with CM 10.1. Uh, home screen, you can change the grid size. Um, you know, if you want to make it like my the one I have here. I uh, have five rows there, and I think that actually makes it, oh that's the home screen, sorry. Uh, let's go back here, if you hold down the home button you can switch, and uh, drawer, um, I think, a bunch of options here, I'll let you play with that. Uh, and also lock screen, um, screen security, battery status, uh, that's, that's there, uh, maximize widgets, slider shortcuts. I mean, you can have up to one, two, three, four shortcuts. Um, so that's where you can set it. Button actions, you can change the button actions, that's really nice. And uh, themes, you can download some CM10 or CM10.1 themes, or just type AOKP themes on the Play Store. And uh, it'll show up here when you install it. Change the themes, and also system, uh, status bar, all of this stuff, brightness control. Um, you know, this one allows you to to quickly adjust. That's my one of my favorites of CM10. In notification drop power widgets, um, hardware keys, all of this stuff. Anyway, check it out for your Epic 4G Touch. And let, and let me show you how to install it. You'll need three files. Uh, you'll need an actual ROM file, uh, Google Apps, and also a save kernel. The one I use all the time is like a CM9 save kernel uh, by Chris41G. It works really well, so I don't, I don't uh, I stick with it because I break my phone like a couple, couple times already on the Epic 4G side. This one's a very brickable phone. Um, so go ahead and turn your power off after you copy the three files. I'll have the links on my website uh, in the description. And go ahead and power off. And uh, go ahead and hit volume up and power. And of course, I'm assuming you have a rooted phone with some kind of recovery. Um, if you don't, go ahead and root it first. And uh, go ahead and hold down volume up and power until you see clockwork mod recovery. 
Um, there we go. And let go of both buttons right away. And then we're going to go ahead, uh, I don't care whatever kernel you have, I don't know if it's safe or not, and I'm very paranoid with this phone because I've bricked it twice. Um, only phone I've bricked twice. So go ahead and install it from SD card. Choose it from SD card or external SD card, depending on where you put those files. Put it in my internal. So that's 41G WTF. That's the safe kernel I was talking about. That one you should have copied over. Go ahead and install it. Say yes. And then this should take like five seconds. It does not take that long. And uh, hit go back. Go to advanced. Go to uh, reboot recovery. Hit the power button. This will now reboot into the actual recovery of the safe kernel. Uh, the thing with Epic 4G Touch is that the kernel is part of the recovery and uh, recovery is part of the kernel. There we go. So I've got this uh, rebooted into the safe, safe recovery. Now I can do a data wipe uh, factory reset. Do make sure you back up all of your apps um, using Titanium Backup App and also I highly suggest using Nova Launcher. Um, that way Nova Launcher itself is backed up as uh, an app on Titanium Backup App. And then you'll be able to keep all of your apps, you know, the layouts. And, uh, you know, Nova Launcher is great. I think it's way better than Apex. Uh, anyway, do wipe data factory reset if you did back up everything. Or if you don't care, um, go ahead and do that also. And then uh, once that's done, we're going to install the ROM, install the Google Apps, and we should be done. Uh, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, go to download or wherever you put the files. Um, the actual ROM is while for the night. And I'm going to say yes. And uh, this should take maybe 10 seconds. And then we're going to install the Google Apps, uh, which is for the Android 4.2.1. And then reboot. That's it. And you should be on the latest, uh, the ported version, this one by uh, XDA user Dustin1015. I always put the uh, link to the XDA thread uh, if you want to check it out and donate to the people. And also, I only post the version I use because sometimes uh, with the different versions it can have different features and you know what um, I won't you know I just leave it so just in case you guys have trouble with the newer versions but you can always go check out the new newest version on the XDA thread uh, you'll be able to find it on that thread and uh, this is almost done and we're gonna install Google Apps that gives you the Play Store um, and uh, everything you need Choose it from SD card, go to download, go to gapps blah blah dot zip. This is the gapps you should have downloaded and copied over. Uh, the three file, one of the three files I was talking about, Google Apps Report dot two dot one. Um, once that's done, should take another second or two. Uh, we're gonna reboot, and you should be in full Android four dot two dot one mode on CM ten point one. And go back and reboot system now. Right now, I'm kind of waiting for the next TouchWiz base ROM that can actually support multi-view, multi-window. Um, that's on my, you know, my rooted Galaxy S2, Galaxy S3, my my Note 2. Um, I think it's a great feature. One feature that makes me use TouchWiz over CM 10.1. And also, if you don't like TouchWiz, you can always just use Nova Launcher uh, on top of TouchWiz, which makes it super fast, anyways. So I'm waiting for that, and uh, it's, I don't know if it's going to be coming, but hopefully somebody ports it. And uh, there we go. That's how you install it. Um, it should be coming up soon. A anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, uh, as always, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button up there, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And if you have an Epic 4G Touch, uh, I have a s one site for it, made for it. Uh, go ahead and sign up for my email list at epic4gtouchroot.com. And uh, you get updates uh, whenever I upload stuff, which is like a once a once a week. Um, I just give you a wrap up, you know. But it's been more like once once a month. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And uh, we're gonna wait just five more seconds to show you that it's gonna run here, or it could be like another ten seconds. And uh, yeah, that that's gonna be it, I think. And stay high on Android, yo. Uh, hurry up. Um, yeah, sometimes it can take a little bit longer, but I think I did everything right. You can also clear, um, oh, there we go, right when I said, I'm going to give another instruction set. Um, so there you go. So that's how you install it. Uh, have fun with it. I think you'll like it. Do give me a feedback of what you think of this ROM if you have any trouble. I mean, it's not completely bug-free, but uh, for most part, that I've, 
I've tried, tested, it's you know bug free. Um, so check it out and let me know. And I'll see you guys later. Uh.